very good morning and welcome to ITN News coming to you live and direct from the ITN studios with me, Abra Rabid. Now, before we go into our stories in detail, let's take a look at our headlines. Police curfew imposed within Puttalam district and Nigambo Kuchukade area will be temporarily lifted. The number of corona cases in Sri Lanka increased up to 50. Accepting nominations for general election will end at 12 noon today. Italy coronavirus deaths rise by record 475 in a day. In our lead story, police curfew imposed within Puttalam district and Nigambo Kuchikade area will be lifted at 8 a.m. today. The curfew was imposed yesterday in those areas to contain the spread of COVID-19 within the country. The police said, however, curfew will be reimposed at 2 p.m. in the afternoon and will be in force until further notice. The measure is being taken to carry on submission of nomination without disruption. Moving on to more news at home, the number of coronavirus-affected persons in Sri Lanka has increased up to 50 at present. The number of corona cases reported through the world has exceeded 200,000. The government has taken many measures to prevent spread of the virus throughout the island. At a media briefing held at the National Operations Centre for the Prevention of COVID-19, Health Minister Pavitravani Arachi said that a number of cases were reported yesterday as well. 24 hospitals are now ready to accept the patients for treatment. Director General of Health Services Dr. Anil Jasinghe has says private hospitals in the country will be allowed to conduct the PCR test to determine whether a person is COVID-19 positive. However, they are allowed to under strict conditions. He said that the COVID-19 should not cost more than 6,000 rupees at private hospitals and test results should be released within 24 hours. Furthermore, the details of such persons subjected and the test results should be informed to the epidemiology unit. The government has arranged a special flight to bring the devotees who are on pilgrimage in India back to Sri Lanka. There are about 900 Sri Lankan pilgrims in India at present. Meanwhile, the examinations department, GCE Ordinary Level Examination, will be delayed due to this situation. Issuance of vehicle revenue license are available as online services to prevent people coming to divisional secretariats. The validity period of driving licenses issued by the Commissioner General for Motor Traffic, which expires from the 16th of March to the 15th of April, will be extended till the 30th of June. State Pharmaceutical Corporation stresses that there is no shortage of medicines in the country at present. Still in news at home, accepting nominations for the general election will end at 12 noon today. Many political parties and independent groups submitted their nomination lists yesterday. It is significant that very few people accompanied uh, with the nomination groups at the district secretariats to hand over nominations. The election commission stated that 44 established political parties have submitted their nominations and 31 independent groups have handed over their nominations so far. National Academic Bhikshu Forum held a media briefing regarding a group of Buddhist monks contesting the election under a political party. This group of monks had applied to contest the election under the accepted political parties and were later rejected as Mahanayaka Theros have appealed the political leaders not to give nominations to Buddhist monks. This media briefing was held at the Sunitra Devi Pidivena in Pepiliana yesterday. Monks should not work under any politician or political party. They cannot have time, ability, strength to work independently. What is more important is monks who can work for the benefit of country independently. So we are destroying our that great ability if we go to the parliament and work under political leaders. So in order to bring a good name for Buddhism, Buddhist monks and history, monks should stay away from contesting parliament seats, but 
they can do the great service by guiding political leaders to do better services to the country. And when political leaders are moving towards wrong directions, can advise them to move away from wrong directions and move to right direction. That is our stand. So we hope our monks stay away from this dangerous situation and which can bring a bad name for Mahasangha and Buddhism. Measures have been taken to reduce the prices of several essential medical and food items. All import levies on face masks and sanitizers were waived off by the government with effect from today. A maximum retail price of 150 rupees per kilogram for big onions has already been gazetted. The gazette notification also imposes a maximum retail price of 65 rupees per kilogram of miso dal and 100 rupees per 425 gram of canned fish. And that is all the news for today. Do join us again tomorrow for the very latest. For the ITN News team, I'm Abrar Abid. A very good day and stay safe.